G'day. People buy stories. The end. I've spoken to you about the power of storytelling a number of times here on this show over the years. I'm a big believer in it. And interestingly enough, as I start going down the rabbit hole of Web3 and NFTs in particular, I'm realizing that it is even more important in this world. The power of storytelling in the world of NFTs is massive. And there's a few reasons for that. Part of it is it's so new and so people look to stories to help them try to understand stuff, especially the technical aspects, which a lot of people don't understand. So stories help make that relatable to us. Part of it is there's been a lot of scams or rug pulls, I guess, over the last six to 12 months. And as a result of that, people look for a level of comfort. How do we get comfort? Well, the story helps us understand it. And part of that is people creating a roadmap of where they're gonna go, telling the story of what they're gonna do. A lot of projects are creating lore around their projects, like a little story around the nature of their character or their animal in that NFT drawing. Um, but overall, the power of storytelling in this space is massive. I mean, the reality is that we buy things based on the story. We use the utility and the functionality and the price and all these other factors to rationalize that decision. We think we've actually bought something that has a utility or has a functionality or has some sort of benefit, but the reality is we've actually already bought it based on the story. The rest of that stuff, we're really just using it to rationalize our decision. That's what I reckon. What do you reckon? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alrighty, that is it for today. I do thank you for your time and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.